Um, you, you did mention that uh, the UPND won by fluke. Mm. All right. And uh, some people that are watching you right now, yeah. I'm sure yeah, they're, they're disagreeing they're, they're with they're you. They're agreeing with me. Yes. But, yeah. Reason uh, being that uh, the margin was too huge. Uh, you know, 1.8 against 2.8. That is not a huge what margin. What kind of uh, that is not a, a chance that of flu would be a, that? That is not a huge margin. Yeah. 1.8 to 2.8. Yeah. You're talking about a million. Indeed. It's, it's not huge. We are more than 17 million Zambians. Hmm. More than 17 million Zambians. Can you tell me that 1 million is a huge margin? How? And these are the people that you didn't convince How? yourselves as a ruling Even party. them, they didn't convince them. Right. They didn't convince them. 1 million. What is 1 million? Hmm. We are more than uh, 17 million. And you're talking about 1 million. Are you sure, hmm. Mr. Piri? The 1 million is the number, actually, that, uh, that the UPND uh, uh, surpassed you. Yeah, but it's not a big number. To, to win against you. It's not a big number. It is. Today no, you are how out many, of how many government. People, how many people? You are in opposition because exactly. of 2.8 million. Exactly. Mm. But it's not a huge number, Mr. Piri. Right. That is not a huge number. Okay? Mm. That is not a huge number. 1 million. Mm. Against 1.8 million. Yeah. That's not a huge number, Mr. Peter. Right. It is not. We are more than 17 million Zambians. Right. And the people who registered, uh, who were uh, uh, registered as voters mm. for 2021 uh, 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 general elections, I can assure you that even that 1 million is not mm. huge. It's Why did not. you fail to convince the 2.8 million Zambians? Uh, we, we were not working for 2.8 million Zambians. That's we are working I'm for. Just trying, as we are working for more than 18 million. Yeah, Zambians. I'm writing on the number so of the that, figure. That, that's the figure. UPND that won is a, no, against a, the Pedetic Front. That is not. That, that's just a figure. The now UPND, my question is: The UPND yeah. managed to get 2.8. Yeah. PF managed to get 1.8. Please. Mm. But all of us, both of us, I mm. mean, the UPND and PF. Yeah. <laughs> that is not the number which we expected. Yeah. Okay, mm. even the UPND they did not expect a 2.8 mm. because we govern more than 18 million Zambians. Indeed. The people registered they are more than that. Mm. So if the UPND managed to get a five million Zambians mm. who voted for them, mm -hmm. I would have said yes. This was a, a landslide. Mm. One million. One million to be a landslide, one million? Mm. Let us go back to elections today with the UPND. And you, you think see, we can win? Definitely. Can we lose to UPND? Because all the allies is over. It's finished. It's just two months ago. It when finished. It, we, we are coming from an election. I can assure you, finished. As we don't lie. We were not even lying when we were campaigning. <laughs> President Ted Ketakolung actually told us that we are going to use a PF manifesto for 2021 <coughs> to 2026. And the information which was there, it's the information which was on the ground. The only thing which was there which was not on the ground is the word which we used that we will continue developing the country, diversifying our economy in forestry, tourism, uh, aquaculture, and many other. The rest, we are talking about, we have built roads, we have built schools, we have uh, employed the, the health workers, mm. we have uh, uh, managed to, uh, to construct uh, police stations. That was the thing which was there. To our colleagues, they told the people of Zambia, we are going to give you free education, we will, talk, we will take care of uh, bursaries for, for, for our students, mm. the loans for our our, 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 our students, many other lies. Okay? Mm. That's what they, they told the people of Zambia. Yeah. Okay? But today, if we go back to the general election today, mm. what are they going to tell the people of Zambia? As we maintain the same information, which we will tell you, mm. Mr. Piri, that we have constructed flyover bridges in Lusaka, and you agree with me that, yes, it is true. Mm. We have uh, constructed a ring road from Kafue Road into Great North Road, you tell me that it is true. We have constructed Dingwerere Road, decongesting uh, uh, the, 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 the Great North Road into the eastbound. You say, yes, it is true. We will tell you that we have constructed airports, world-class airports. 
you will say yes it is true mm. so for us we have no time to lie to the people of Zambia and we had no time to lie to the people of Zambia President Edgar Chagualumu told us guys we have we need to tell our own story and we are trying to tell the people of Zambia our own story the only problem is you don't want to see okay you don't want to see what is there that is the only problem with the people of Zambia you don't want to see you want to be lied to so our colleagues lied to you that they will give you free education which they have backtracked in parliament we told them we told the vice president uh, madam vice president you told us free education and free education you you cannot discriminate on free education free education is free education whether mr piri has money as a zambian if the government has a policy to give a free education it's free education there are no two ways about it there are no two ways about it free education is free education you can't start saying no my children they are not uh, qualified to 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 have a free education because uh, i can afford <coughs> government policy is government policy whether your children they can afford or not but you give what you promise to the people so if we go back to to elections today i can assure you that we will win because the people of zambia they want uh, the people are practical action oriented people <laughs> not uh, not uh, uh, motivation speakers. No, 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 no. We don't need motivation speakers. Mm. As we are in the hurry to develop this country, and the people of Zambia Honorable. wants development to to to, to continue. I'm to sure you recall very well, Honorable Usambo, that uh, the confidence you have today, and uh, claiming or purporting that uh, if an election is called today, mm. the PF can pull through. It's the same confidence you had. Uh, prior to the elections my friend what has changed today and uh, furthermore let me just what? add one question again mm -hmm. why do you think made you not to convince or to translate that message you've talked about that you built uh, a lot of schools mm -hmm. during your tenure in office mm -hmm. you also constructed a lot of uh, uh, houses or teachers houses you can talk about uh, police houses you want to talk mm -hmm. about uh, airports. bridges airports yeah, among yeah. them the, you know uh, but what made you not to package that information and take it out there? Yeah, uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Piri and viewers out there. Yes, uh, uh, we, we, we missed a golden opportunity as Patriotic Front to package the information and to be consistent in our um, uh, the information which we are giving to the people. Mm. Where did because you miss it? Let's be uh, realistic here. Uh, where I did don't, you miss it? I, 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 I can't tell exactly where we missed it. Mm. But for us, some of us in Kabush constituency, we are very consistent. We are very consistent. We are telling the people what we have done. Mm. And I can assure you that President Edgar Chagualungu's shoes, they are just too big for any president to come and fit in. Mm. That's why I was saying President Daka in the HLM is sweating in State House because he's trying to fit in a very big shoe. So they have imported plastics to put in that shoe just to make it uh, like it can fit. But it won't fit because fitting in those shoes is to beat what President Edgar Chagalungu did. Mm. That is the only way you are going to, to, to fit in those shoes. The bar is too high. All right. The bar is too high. The bar is too high. There is no one who can ditch where President Edgar Chagalungu reached.